the start of the anecdote A face of the news looking through his notes A rose in a retrograde motion In the end we will suffer like we Hello everyone, my name is Nightmare and welcome to my channel. If at any point during this video you like what you see or like what you hear, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, that always helps out. Um, ring that bell, get notified so you never miss another video. And on that note, we are going to take a look at a daily race from Suzuka. Uh, I'm starting quite far back and this is on my UK account. Um, a pretty low B rated in this lobby and so the racing kind of tends to get a little bit sketchy sometimes in these lobbies. Um, I don't remember for sure how good this one was or wasn't, so I guess we're going to find out together. All right, uh, joining me, I have Haji. Hello there, guys. All right, and on that note, we are going to go one, two, three. So, yeah, I took the Beetle for this race. Um, I found oh, myself... Oh, I love the Beetle. Oh, I, around Suzuka, I really like the Beetle. It's a really good car for this track. Uh, most of the time, I love it. Uh, for some of them, it's kind of underpowered. Um, it, it's not. It's it's one of those cars that's pretty steady on a lot on most of the tracks, though. But yeah, yeah I'd like rather it. have a steady car than a fast car. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I I, would, I agree. Um, that's kind of why I like driving the 4C as much as I do, is because it's I can predict what it's gonna do. So it, for me, it's a good, it's a good, um, a good car to repeat every lap. So yeah, I'm starting. I started 17th in this race, man. I mean, with a rolling start at Suzuka, that is a long way back from the leaders. Oh yeah, but it's a long race, like 10 laps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the rolling starts on the Gran Turismo are about just about other than the pinball physics are just about the only thing that really drive me batty about this uh about the game because there is no racing series in the world that starts off with a rolling start single file the way gran turismo does uh, especially in the corner yeah yeah Three spots. I mean, yeah, picked up a free spot. That guy wiped out. I always enjoy that. Uh, second one. Yep. <laughs> I'm never going to complain about spots that I don't have to work for, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. That is always a good thing to see. Yep, you guys just keep wiping out. I'll just keep gaining spots here. I'm good with that. Uh, but with the Beetle, I think you should have uh, short shifted a little bit, just a little bit. It'll be faster. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just, uh... I don't know if I had a whole lot of time driving this car at this point. I just used it on this track because I really, you know, I like the way it handled. I could get through the, uh... get through the Degnus pretty well with it. Mm -hmm. And that was that was my main, main uh, problem area is I had a lot of a lot of runoffs because of the cars I was driving and I, I, I just couldn't quite get them figured out. But coming down here starting so like this, a, Go ahead. Yeah, the strategy for this track is like going with uh, four on hard and rest on medium? Uh, you know, I'm not sure what the requirements were for this race. This one was a while back, so I, I don't have a... I, I tend to not write down what the uh, requirements were for the races that I run. Whoa! Oh, three spots! <laughs> Heck yeah! Nice! <laughs> Heck yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. I forgot about that. Do it again, do it again, come on! Yeah, okay, give me three more! But yeah, I, I tend to not write it down, so, you know, I'll go a while before I post some of these races, and I'll just don't completely forget required tires and all that good stuff. Well, there's two more! Oh, nope, that guy's going to recover in time. Yeah, one. Yeah, picked up one. That's fine. 
Dirty tires. Oh Come on. yeah. I think that corner right there, that hairpin, is the hardest corner on this entire track for me to get right. Yeah. Uh, and the first corner. It's a tricky one. I, I don't have a whole lot of trouble with that corner as far as getting it right. I did it first, but it didn't take me very long to figure out. Um, no, it's not saying I'm particularly fast through it, uh, because when I race Bagger here, he always just kicks my hind end coming into that corner. I don't know how he manages yeah. to get through there so much quicker than I do, but he does, so... Uh, you need to use less braking and rely on the engine braking more. Now here I just go way too deep Ooh. on that one, so I lose a couple of spots. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. Uh, not that bad. Only two spots. Yeah, I You're mean... still good. I just... <sighs> It's, it, for me, it's tricky finding that perfect braking spot for that corner. I'll either brake just a little bit too early, or like right there, I'll just brake a little bit too late. And there, I just way too deep going in. Now I got this vet breathing down my neck. Now he's gonna yeah, the vet will push. be like the handling car here, so... Yeah. And that just eh, threw my rhythm all out of whack going through that the S or S's there. <laughs> that was just that was one of the uglier sections I've ever run on this track. Uh, you have the Ferrari now. Yeah. Hunting you down. Another guy off into the sand on Digna too. I think he had a bad connection there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what happened there. Look at them fighting at the back. Three yeah. of them. See there again, I go with this way too deep. Yeah, he ca cap capitalized on him, that mistake. Yeah, it's just, uh, I, I, this is one of those races where, um, I, I told everybody when I started my channel that I'd show them the good, the bad, and the ugly, and, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this is probably one of the ugly, ugly races, because it's just, um, I keep making mistakes, but it's stuff that, um, uh, it's stuff that we all wind up doing every once in a while, the, the top split guys that, you know, they don't make those mistakes, but normal schlubs like me, we just wind up screwing up every once in a while. Well, we have to do some mistakes sometimes. Yeah. So, because I had fallen so far behind, I decided to come in a little bit early um, to switch off of the hard tires. Uh, for me, if I was that, I will go another lap. Yeah, I decided to see if I could get an undercut, though, just... You know, well, I mean, I was running far, far enough back that it really wasn't going to hurt anything if, I, if it didn't work. But if it did work, mm -hmm. it was all game. At least you got away from the crowd so you can drive uh, safely. Yeah. And I'm not going to lose a whole lot if I wind up messing up again, so <laughs> there is that. Nice exit there. Right now, I got a pretty big gap. The guys coming coming out of spoon. I'm just you know getting into it, so there's a pretty good gap behind me. Yeah, I think we we'll see some of the guys uh, pitting now. Yeah, yeah, I'll start seeing them come in. 
Uh, starting with the first place. See, this was another thing too. I, I started at the back, so I started off on the uh, started off on the hard tires just to get them out of the way. But uh, some of the more. guys, some of the guys that were in front of me, they decided to start on the mediums. I don't know why they were coming in so early on the mediums, though. Yeah, it's a bad idea to start with the medium if you're on the back of the pack. Yeah. Well, I'm one, I'm one, I don't care where I start, I'm normally going to start off on the mediums just because uh, I want that softer compound at the end of the race to be, so I can be a little bit quicker. Mm-hmm. You know, lighter fuel, uh, softer tires. I, I figured, uh, even if I start towards the front, unless I completely screw something up, I'll hold enough, I'll hold my own enough to not lose so many spots that I can't make up for some of it. Um, with with the softer compound at the end of the race. Uh, let's see if you think about it. Starting with the, let's say medium tire on the beginning with heavy tank fuel, uh, it will burn a lot of the tires. Yeah, and, and granted, uh, you know the the um, in this case the hard tires would have been just a little bit quicker than normal on a lighter fuel load but I don't think I don't think it would have made up for it at all if I had started off on the mediums and switched to the hards mm -hmm. I mean I wouldn't have I, I would have done a lot more than just four laps on the mediums like those other guys I couldn't figure out why they did that uh, maybe because of the sliding and breaking a lot in the middle of the pack they burned their tire yeah, yeah, that's true. That could have been. See, again, I make another mistake. And it's just inconsistency for in this race right now. And this is the kind of thing that I, I think people can actually relate to. Um, we all know the really fast guys that don't make mistakes like that. But I can't relate to how fast they are. Three more on the third, so you should be You have time. Back to thirteen. Yeah, so far the undercut's working okay for me. Mm -hmm. But again, I get way out of whack, out of, out of rhythm going going through here. Uh, this section need a lot of focus. If you miss one of the turns, then you miss all of the turns. Yeah, exactly. If you're off even a little bit on one of them, you're just all out of whack for the rest. Yep, I know that feeling. See right there, I get my left rear tire on the on the dirt a little bit going into that second degna and just it completely messed me up. Oh, but it's still fine, still fine, you hold it there. You're getting closer, so Yep. Ooh. Now I'm not. See? And that's the kind of thing this is uh, I spoke too soon. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, well, but this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about with you know, giving people somebody they can relate to. Um because I know I'm not I know 95% of us on this game make mistakes like this. Just, you know, it happens. Yeah. And you had a dirty tire, and <laughs> yeah, had all kinds of all kinds of bad stuff going on right there. This poor uh, guy. This guy decided to stop for. Yeah, that guy. He he <laughs> he come out of the spoon. And got all messed up, so he was slow there, and then he got slowed down even more in the penalty zone. So I kind of felt bad for that guy. This guy, not so much. Now he got really, he really mad. He got really mad at me at the end of that end of the race in the chat, but I didn't touch him there. But he swore. Uh, no. He swore yeah, that I mistake. took him out on purpose. No, he's mistake. He pressed the brake too hard. That it's locked. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't touch him. I was like 
dude, I never touched you. And he swore uphill and down that I did. No, it was uh, clear that when he pressed the brake, I think he set it to the rear, that's why. Yeah, something, because I saw the car just uh, just completely skip out on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I even went back. I even went back right after the race and watched the replay a couple of times, uh, and and I did not touch him. Uh, no, it was a clear, clear one. Ooh, that just, hurts. Yeah. I see myself gaining on this guy in 12th place, and I'm just uh, I'm pushing so hard that I wind up doing dumb shit like that. Like, I'm so close, why? Yeah. Yeah, and so far, you know, it's just been the story of the race. I just keep making dumb mistakes like that. Yeah, I know that tension, that feeling when you get, like, uh... You messed up in the beginning, then all the rest of you do stupid things. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've gotten to the point pretty much where I, uh, I, I, I've gotten a lot more consistent and I avoid mistakes like that for the most part now. But like, uh, like a couple of weeks ago at Interlagos for the Group 4 manufacturer's race, I was doing the same thing. I just kept screwing up and... I finally got to the point where I was so frustrated that I did something I don't normally do and I actually rage quit a race. And That's happened to me last night. <laughs> yeah, I don't normally do that. Last night when we did the IROC series? Yeah. First a few mistakes, then I was off of my pace. Couldn't do anything. Yeah, well, you still beat me. After, like, going off the track maybe a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, but you still beat me. That's a problem. <laughs> you went off the track. I didn't. I stayed on the track, and you still beat me. Okay, back to 12. So you still good there now? Yeah, I mean... You didn't lost a uh, lot. I started 17th, so I'm not really too upset about being 12th right now. Oh, now 11? Or 11. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not too awfully upset, but still, I know I could be, you know, at least three, four spots higher had I not done the idiotic things that I've done so far in this race. And I glimpsed that somebody has a penalty in front, like three or four cars in front of you. Oh, really? Yeah, but unless it's a pretty significant penalty, I'm not going to catch him. Not that I'm not trying, though. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing. All they have to do is keep pushing. Again, missed my breaking point by just, you know, 10 meters, and that just messed me all up. Yeah, because of the tire wheel, you misjudge the braking zone yep. or the braking points. Yep, exactly. Okay, let's see. At this point, uh, a lot of them they have worn out tires, so uh, maybe somebody will do a mistake. Yeah, see that's. Right at this point, that's all. That's a, all I'm hoping for is a couple more guys to run off at the Degnas, or you know, just make a make a mistake and spin out in the chicane or in the hairpin or something. You know, just something to allow me to catch up a little more. Yep, there's a yellow flag. Yep. Uh, but he's right. too far. Yep. Yeah, too far. 
Ooh, he went wide. I think he that other car wide. forced him wide. Yeah, I hate the player when they force you like wide or force you in too yeah. so much. Yeah. The bad thing about it is a lot of them will claim that that's not a dirty move. Um, but I, I actually, I'll consider that dirty most of the time. So something happened. Well, it's something happened that the uh, the tenth place car dropped out. Uh, I don't know whether he got booted out of the lobby or. Uh, just quit the race or what happened, but he's gone. So I'm, now I'm up in the top ten. Uh, looking up to nine position position now, because he had a penalty. Yep. So going into the last lap, I'm up seven position from where I started. So I'm really not going to complain about that. I'm ha I'm pretty happy oh. with that. Oh, Frust yeah. oh yeah, frustrated because of what happened, but not complaining. I am kind of concerned about this guy in the Corvette behind me because he's he's already pushed me around a couple of times before, and I'm sure if he gets a chance, he'll do it again. Uh, I think he's preparing to do that. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? I don't know whether it was fortunate or unfortunate that I ran a little wide there. I think it was probably fortunate because I think he was going to try and get me again. I I think you maybe noticed that. That's why you went so wide. <laughs> but you didn't be. to go that wide. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, I may have been driving in my mirror a little too much right there, but I did not trust that guy as far as I could throw him. Somebody dropped, I think. Yep, another one dropped. I could not. Ah, uh, somebody spawned. I could not get my entry into Spoon right there, right for the life of me in this race. Well, your half tire almost gone, so. Yeah. No complaint there. <laughs> Somebody will go off the track. Yep. Ooh, there it is. Ooh. Chaos, chaos in front of you. Look at that. Oh, wow. I totally forgot oh, about that. Oh, and the penalty. And the penalty. Nice. Right so to sixth position. I wind up with sixth spot. Oh, man. I've totally forgot about that ending on that race. Yeah, they had the penalty with two and three seconds, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely not going to complain about that. Up 11 spots? Hell yeah, I'll take that all day long. I will ce celebrate. <laughs> I will right. not be upset. <laughs> oh man, I forgot about that. That's hilarious. Alright guys, that is going to be the end of this video. I appreciate you watching. Like I said, if you like what you see, like what you hear, uh, hit that like button. That'll help me out. Uh, subscri subscribe. That'll help me out even more. Um... Yeah, get notified. Never miss another video. Uh, I try to upload a couple times a week. Um, most of the time, uh, sometimes it's my uh, gameplay from my son uh, and other games. But uh, I try to do a couple of Gran Turismo videos a week if I can. Um, I don't guarantee it. I know I'll do at least once a week. So on that note, everybody, say good night, Haji. Uh, yep, it was a fast race, a lot of speed. So be at speed, subscribe. Yeah, there you go. Subscribe quickly. That works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, until next time, this is Nightmare reminding you, attack the track, not each other. I'll face all the news, looking through his notes A rose in a retrograde motion In the end, we will suffer like we should